Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon. Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another time at the book club. That's what I got to do uh, Sunday afternoon here at 2 p.m. West African time. Uh, so thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. We're presently reading our sixth book in the series, uh, which is The Good Life. That's what we're reading right now, and we're presently in Chapter 9. Hopefully, we're going to be done with Chapter 9 today. Uh, it's our fourth reading in Chapter 9. The title of Chapter 9 is The Good Life at work. So we're looking at living the good life in the workplace, optimizing our time in the workplace, you know, not being a slave to work, but being um being a champion in the place of work, using our work in a our workplace in a way that profits us, in a way that, that shows what who we have, in a way that um that extends the scene, the, the, the scene, the movie of, of, the, of our life, even in the workplace. We don't pause our life because we're at work, but it, we, 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 we have a continuity in the workplace, in the workplace of our life, of our existence, of our purpose, of our vision, of our calling, of, 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 of our evolution right our evolution is not just at home it's not just in the church it's not just on the street but even in our workplace also because this is a part of our life right we, we even spend most of our time for those that that, that that work in the office most of our time is found in we we spend in our workplace even for business people right most of our time is in the marketplace in the in the place of our business so it it, 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 it is important therefore that we utilize well even this time and being a big portion of our life, if we're going to live a fulfilling life, if we're going to live a a, 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 a worth living life, if we're going to live a life that is well seasoned, if we're going to live a life that has width to it, then we need to know how to live right, how to um optimize, utilize our time in the workplace also. So that's what we've been trying to get to in chapter nine. And we've done four three readings so far this is going to be our fourth one and hopefully maybe the last one you know but again we're not in a hurry we'll do whatever it takes you know to see what we can get you know from from the remaining of chapter nine you know before we close it and go on to chapter 10 so as always i'm going to bring up my slide here and we're going to go ahead and look at it in the old chapter you know again we've looked at uh the, the quote we used to run talking about chapter 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 nine here is the important of that the value of each day whether we succeed each day of our life you know is is determined by the by the seeds we sow not necessarily harvest that we're reaping in that day is what are we sowing what are we sowing what are we sowing what are we um what are we intentional about? What are we proactive about? Because what we invest in each day will determine the harvest that we're going to have in the days that will come. It will determine the harvest we're going to have in the days that will come. If all we do is harvest, then we're not, we don't have anything for tomorrow, right? That means our tomorrow will be difficult. Our tomorrow will not be will not be exciting. Our tomorrow will not be profitable. Our tomorrow will not be rewarding. You know, uh, tomorrow will not be fulfilling. You know, but, you know, uh, life is such that you determine what you get out of life. There's nothing that is ordained for anybody. Whatever it is that you get out of life is because you made a decision to, to, to work it out. Your work, you determine the phone you're going to have out of life. You determine how your life is going to be you know you are the captain of your soul you are the master of your of, of your of your destiny of your fate you know so like me i'm going to retire here in about three and a half years to come i'm from about two years ago i've already begin began to ring that out to everybody retirement is not going to come to me suddenly retirement is going to come to me by choice by chat by, by 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 choice right by, by 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 design i'm already designing my retirement i'm already designing how my last day at work is going to be i'm going to i'm already designing how what would be at the, the first day after retirement i'm already doing it now Right. So you see, I'm not going to be one of those that will miss my way to work the day after retirement because I am planning it. I am ordaining it. I'm already doing the groundwork. I'm already sowing the seeds. Right. I'm not going to. 
I'm not going to miss anybody per se because I will have optimally utilized our time together. I will have optimally utilized our time together, right? Every day at work, I engage with people, right? I'm saying this in public. So anyone that, you know, so anyone and in public, I have a lot of my work, work, work people that get to see me, right? I optimally utilize every day at work. I engage with people. I engage with people. I optimize our relationship. I, you know, I, I don't leave anything for the tomorrow. I optimize our, our relationship and, and leave whatever is for tomorrow for tomorrow. But I enjoy the today of my life, right? That's the way I build my life. And that's where life is supposed to be built. Is the seed you sow. Is the seed you sow. Is the seed you sow. That is what will answer for you tomorrow, Right. So we, we talked about that. We talked about the need to make work work for you. Irrespective, you know, in life, it's not what happens to you that's important. What happens to you is not within your control. Life happens to us all. That is not within your control. That's what life is. Life happens to us. Things happen. But what is within our control is the way we respond to what happens to us. Life happens. That is not within our control. Right, that is outside the realm of our control as humans. But the way we respond to what ha what life happens to us is the is hundred percent fully in our control. And the Creator holds us responsible for the way we respond to 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 the things that happen to us in life. Right, you come to a play a workplace that is harsh, that is that is toxic. That is not within your control. But what you do with that workplace, that environment that is toxic, that is ash, that that has devils and demons, or in, in, that is devil, devil and demon infested, is within your control. You can make it work for you. You can make it work for you. You can make it work for you. You can make it work for you, right? And that's what we've been sharing here in the three times we've we've met. You know, looking at the good life at work and hopefully today we'll share a bit more of that you know but that's not just at work it's it's life as a whole right you don't determine the cards life plays you but you determine how you play the card the, the cards life gives to you you don't determine but you you determine how you play the card you don't determine where you get born you're born in one country or the other Burkina Faso you know Saudi Arabia Nigeria, America, UK, wherever. You don't determine that, but you determine what you do with where you are born. That is within your control. That is what life will hold you responsible for. Not, not where you were born, but what you did with where you were born, right? That's the whole of life, right? And, and we've looked at, uh, uh, we looked at three pillars, you know, for, for a positive work environment. And we said it's respectful communication, that's important, right? That's you want once you try, you want to you want to uh, push towards, you know, for other positive workplace, you need a respectful communication. You know, respect is important, right? And communication, not holding back of things, right? And respect for individuals and respect for the team. Those three are important. And that was shared with us by Shola Richards. He says so the the, the three pillars of a positive work environment, right? Which you need to drive at, right? If you want to have a positive work environment, you know, as much as it's within your control, there are things you done outside your control, but as far as it's within your control, you want to respectfully communicate with other people. You want to respect individuals, right? And you want to respect the team also. Right, it's not a one-man game. It's a team game. It's your department's game. It's a company's game. You you you're not in your company because of yourself. You're in your company to 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 elevate your company. You are paid to elevate to meet the target of the company. It's up to you to find how you meet your own target while meeting the target of the company. But you are employed. You are paid to meet to help meet the target of the company. Right, you need to respect the company. Know that you you bear the name of that company. What Whatever you do, you are doing in the name of that company. You need to do it, you know, with the with the utmost respect and good, you know, of the company in mind, right? If you want to have a positive work environment, you know, so we, we did share that. And we, we talked about uh, 
achievement is most meaningful when you do it in a in in a, in, a, in a relational environment you know when it's not just a one man game you know when you win as a team you 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 respect you know your customers you respect your suppliers you know in in my workplace we call it, we call it a business partnership we say that we we are partners together you know uh, to to achieve a common goal we call it one team one goal right and we do it as partners we see ourselves not one person is higher, the other one is lower. We see every single person being important towards meeting the goal, the objective, the vision of, of the company, of the group, of the department, you know, and and and, and, and we want it to be a win-win. As a team wins, we want help individual to win. You know, that 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 is that is our that's our 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 drive right and that's important that's important that helps everyone to feel it a sense of belonging that helps everyone to be able to pull in you know their own um their own resource that helps everyone to be able to lift you know their own side of the stick that ones they pull their own side of the weight you know and it, and it's not just one person over a button but every the, the button is equally shared and together we're able to uh, not just work for today, but we have a, a sustainable working environment, sustainable working persons, individuals, you know, and 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 that's important, right? And that's we we also carry that relationship beyond the workplace, you know, when we when we have respect for one another, when we're able to uh, not use people, you know, but um, work with people not use people or work with people. That's important. There are a lot, there are a lot of people maybe with good and a bad heart that, that don't understand the fact that you don't use people. You use things, but you work with people. You love people. You use things. You love people. You use things. Some people have that mixed up and they, and they, they love things, but use people. <laughs> and that's as bad as, as that some people and people do that. Do that. You know, I've had someone say, oh, what can we do with you? That's stupid. That's degrading, right? It's not, it's not you. I'm not a tool to be used, right? I'm someone to be loved. I'm someone to be embraced and someone to, to that can contribute to you, right? Contribute to you as a human being, not as a thing. And I don't care your anointing. I don't care your calling. But but that mindset that of using people is wrong. It's of a devil. It's not of God. Right, and it, it doesn't work anyway. It's not progressive; it's retrogressive. Right, you don't use people. You 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 love people. You work with people. Right, you partner with people. Right, you use things. You don't use people. When you start thinking of using people, you are beginning to have a a, a non-progressive mindset. You are beginning to have a loser's mindset. You are beginning to have a devilish, demonic mindset. You are beginning to have a, a mindset that will not win in the workplace. At least will not have a sustainable success in the workplace. You know, that fundamental place can never be be, 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 be exchangeable, can never be done away with, you know. It's it's something that is 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 entrenched in, in in God's universe, God's creation. You don't use people, right? You use things, but you love people. You work with people. You partner with people. That's important. And if you're going to inv invest in connections in the workplace, that's important. You know, because you can use people today because they need something from you, but they're not going to stay in that position forever. They're going to grow. One day they will not need anything from you. They'll be independent of themselves. The respect they're going to give to you is going to be a function of what you did with them when they did not have, when they were helpless. Right? What you do with people when they have no ground to stand on their own is the respect they will give to you when they have full right, when they're able to stand their full ground. Right, you invest in connections. The investment you make in connections today is what you're going to reap tomorrow. Another word we, we we call it we call it our uh, emotional bank account. Right, when you invest in relationship, when you invest in connection, you have you are you are you are making deposits into the emotional bank account you have with people. Some days, sometimes, somewhere you're going to need it, and it's only what you have stored up you're going to get back. If you don't have any, you, you won't. I mean, some people have left work and people would say if they meet them on the road, they'll look the other way. Why? 
because they had nothing in their in their emotional bank account. They 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 they, they usurped their position. They usurped their position. They and they thought that their position would be there forever. No, it's a relationship. It's a connection. The investment you have in people's life that will stay forever. Right.